In this demonstration, you'll learn how to conduct a fluent airflow simulation on a clean NACA 12 airfoil using fluent icing. I'll begin by launching Fluent. I'll select icing within the Fluent launcher window. I'll set the number of solver processes between 2 and 4 CPUs. This all depends on how many resources are available to you. Name your working directory NACA 12 icing. Click Start to launch Fluent Icing. The Project tab is displayed by default. While I'm in the project's top ribbon, I'll take this opportunity to name my project folder Fluent Icing NACA 12 by selecting Project and New. In the project top ribbon, I'll go to Simulations, Import Case, and browse to and select the NACA 12 CAS H5 file from the extracted Fluent Icing Zip archive. A new simulation window will appear. I'll name my simulation NACA 12 Icing and enable the Load and Solver checkbox. A new simulation folder will be created in the project folder, and the NACA 12 CAS H5 file will be imported. After the CAS H5 file has been successfully loaded, the simulation tab is displayed and a new simulation tree appears under NACA 12 icing. I'll select Setup under NACA 12 icing and uncheck Particles and Ice since I'm simply running an Airflow solution. Under Setup, I'll click Airflow to display the Airflow panel. Under Solve, right-click Airflow from the side menu and select Initialize. A hybrid initialization is executed using the settings of the original case file. The hybrid initialization is based on the solving of Laplace's equation to determine the pressure and velocity parameters. Under Solve, I'll click Airflow to display the Airflow panel. I'll increase the number of iterations to 1000, which should be enough for the solution to properly converge. A steady state simulation will be executed since the original case file contains steady state settings. I'll right click Airflow under Solve and select Calculate to launch this simulation. A new run window will appear. I'll therefore set the name to Flow Clean. Once the computation is complete, the solution file out.h5 will be written inside the new run directory NACA 12 icing flow clean. Now that the simulation has converged, I'll take a look at the convergence history of the simulation in the plots window. In the console, the residuals and coefficients are provided at each iteration. I'll examine the convergence of lift and drag coefficients listed as report lift and report drag. Lift and drag coefficients have converged. I can also view the simulation contours by going to View, Quick View, Contour, choose Heat Flux Walls to output the convective heat flux over the clean NACA 12. In the ribbon bar of your Fluent Icing window, select the Project tab. The left side panel will switch to the Project view. Notice that on the left side of the Project panel, the NACA 12 Icing simulation now contains the Run folder Flow Clean, which contains the solution file out.h5. Notice that current is listed next to the run folder to show that this is the current run, and the out file is displayed in bold to show that this is the file that's currently loaded. The fluent icing settings that you use to perform the flow clean run are saved in a run settings file that is located inside the flow clean run folder. If you would like to load these settings at any point in the future, you may right click on the flow clean folder and select load settings. The run settings file itself is hidden by default. To display this file, you may right click on the column display panel where name is displayed under project view and select show hidden items. Select the simulation tab to go back to the simulation outline view. This concludes our demonstration on how to run a fluent airflow simulation on a clean NACA 12 airfoil using fluent icing.